Hey, this is Jason. Um, as you may know, if you follow me on my blog and here on YouTube, I, uh, I have a small collection of Land Rovers that I work on and restore. This specific one's a 99 Disco one. Uh, yes, a 99. They were made in the U.S. mid-year until the end of uh, mid-99. But I don't drive it as much. Um, I keep a cover on it when I'm not using it to try to keep it in as stock and original condition as I can. But when the battery drains, it's a huge pain. So I didn't want to have it hooked to the house for power. Um, even though I could run a long extension cord, I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. So I'm using the battery tender solar power charger. Um, I did not want it to be confined just to this one car, meaning I didn't want to just set it on top of the hood and all that stuff. I wanted to be able to quickly disconnect it. So I hooked up the adapter and wired it directly to the battery. And on the quick disconnect, I have a 25 foot cable, which would allow me to do any of the cars there, the Silverado, the Colorado, um, the L322 if I wanted to. And I usually have a classic park next to it, but it's in front of the house right now. And the cable just runs all the way to the actual panel. And I physically mounted it in the yard. It will look, you know, you can't see it from anywhere because it's kind of behind the uh, parking area. And I ran a presser tree to post in the ground, sloped it back, faced it towards the sun, put a piece of presser tree to ply behind the solar panel, mounted it to it, and that will protect it from wind and everything. So that's kind of how it's hooked up. And then all you do is plug the 25 foot cable into here. It comes with six foot, but I just kept that tied up. And you know it's charging because that little thing will, um, will be flashing. And when, it, when it's fully charged, it would be green. So it's a pretty cool setup, I think. The cable gives me the ability to do any car here. Uh, for $5, I can add the adapters to the battery. So all I got to do is just basically drag the 25-foot cable to the vehicle I'm doing. And away I go. Pretty simple. Uh, I paid, I think, 90 bucks for the panel. I think 19 bucks for the 25-foot cord. All of the wood I had laying around in my shed. So figure 100 bucks or so should solve my dead battery issues and enable me to have a little charging station for any of the vehicles or equipment that I want to park next to it to get a trickle charge. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this video will help. The reason why I made the video, um, even though it's nothing revolutionary, I uh, didn't like how a lot of people had them mounted. So I, uh, I thought I would just show my take at how I'm mounting it for more of a permanent safe solution for solar visit my blog at www.jams j a m is in mom z's and zebra.net jams.net and you can follow more of the uh, projects that i'm working on thanks for watching